Hello and welcome Aries! Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's see what cards are showing up for you and what's going to happen this week for you. And um, yeah, so if you have been visiting my website, it might be online or offline right now. Depends on when you're watching this video, but it will be soon online if you see that it's offline. So um, yes. Oh, that's remarkable. I get just get uh, the King of Swords as well for you uh, at the same place as I got for Scorpio. Um, so, and I even get a Scorpio card in the end. So yeah, interesting, interesting Aries. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Uh, I see the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. So a lot of... Uh, Oh, and there's even an Ace of Pentacles here. So, wow, there are a lot of opportunities for you going on. Maybe you are uh, already with a new person or you know that you are about to meet this person. You know that you're going to reconciliate with this person, that you're going to see them. Uh, so, yeah, maybe you can't even be bothered about this. I don't know why, but the Four of Cups is showing up more often this week for more zodiac signs. Um, so maybe you don't see your opportunities here. You don't, you, you do feel that connection with this person, or you do, you are on the same page with someone. But for some reason, it's not. Um, maybe that excitement is missing, but I don't think so because the eight of wands is showing up, and so maybe you are too excited. I think here this is more going. This is more about. Um, I think that there's some some kind of nervousness here with Aries. Um, I think you know you will like this. I think you know that this will be nice. This will be great. It will be um, because the Eight of Cups is showing uh, in from the start of the week until the middle of the week. But maybe this is this could be both ways. It could be that you already know. So maybe that's boring because you already know <laughs> that this is going to be great. For some reason, I, I, I just get that you already know what to expect or something like that. But on the other hand, um, I think there's also some nervousness. So you might be self-sabotaging yourself. You might be saying to yourself, oh, this is not it. This is just, this is not what I want. Oh, this is again like it was in the past. Um, oh, again, another person like that or... I don't know, um, maybe that kind of chatter is going on in your mind right now, maybe not very consciously, because uh, subconsciously uh, I see that there's a lot of excitement. So you are talking yourself maybe down or you're talking yourself, and this is not on a conscious level because I know Aries are very energetic and uh, they, they, they are very uh, fun to be around. Uh, but. This is more, oh wow, and even, we got all the aces, Aries. We got all the aces here right now. Just check this out. Like ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. So, great, great, great. So, there's a lot of excitement. So, I think there's some nervousness, especially with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're self-sabotizing yourself. You don't want this because you know this is going to be fun. And so, you find it a little bit hard to acknowledge or to know that this is possible as well because this might be just turning your world upside down this might be uh, different than um, yeah you have to switch your mindset uh, that things can be that they still exist that maybe even like the most sweet cheesy stuff on earth it is it does exist so um, I don't know if I say it in the right way that Aries would like this the way I say it, but I think really it's about this. And the Two of Cups here is showing up with the Chariot in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. So yeah, you will be overwhelmed by this person. I'm sorry, this is maybe cheesy, but this is a person when you meet them and you will see each other and you, this might be love on first sight even. This might be, um, yeah, this might be someone you are head over heels with when you see them for the first time. This might be um, someone you already saw before that you, but you are, yeah, you will be pretty overwhelmed by this. Maybe you won't show this, I don't know, but you will be, everything is going. Nervousness, I think I get the word nervous. Like Aries is a bit nervous right now. So 
also for the crosswatchers, like it's nervousness. Um, like, oh, yeah. So a lot of emotions here, guys. A lot of emotions. A lot of emotions going on. And I see here in the past the King of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you have been working very hard. Um, clarified by the King, Queen of Swords and the Hero fan. So maybe you have been working very hard and um, only thinking about these rational things. And now your emotions coming up. And then, yeah, then everything is heading in such a right different direction that you haven't been feeling this for a very long time. It's a very long time that you probably felt like this. And you think that you already know maybe what's going to happen or what's uh, going on and you think you know this person or you think and maybe that's right, that's right, but there's more, there's, there's more, there's also feelings and these feelings are very difficult to, um, to predict how you're going to feel or you already know it you know it Aries you know it you know that this is how it's going to work so the eight of cups together with the two of pentacles in reverse and the two of swords in reverse means that um, this new love that is coming in uh, or someone you already know but this is in, uh, in any case a new start with someone um, yeah it's, it's also letting go of this heartbreak that you have been previously experiencing um, it's letting go of this heartbreak, it's this other person really wants to collaborate with you um, I do see a lot of three cards, so maybe they are still in a relationship or something, or you are and it, maybe you start off as friends as well and not so much um, yeah, I see a lot of friends cards as well for them and they do have a lot of clarity about this and what is going on and um, yeah, I think you start off as friends you start off as friends, yeah, and I'm, I, I think you're very happy that you, the way you will approach this, they will be also very happy because of this, this will also be healing for you, this will be healing for you, the nine of cups is that they are, they, they, you are what they have been wishing for, <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds maybe cheesy, but it is, they, you are what they have been dreaming of and have been wishing for Aries so uh, in the end of the week I get the death card together with the six of cups and the six of pentacles in the bride so I think you that there, there's big changes coming up uh, in the end of the week maybe you get to know each other this week or you um, you are deciding or you are well yeah, that could be that you are deciding this week what you want and you maybe get to know this person a little bit better. Um, and the Ace of Wands is... Yeah. You know that there are opportunities here. There is not only like love, but there is also like a physical attraction. There is excitement. I think you both are definitely not boring type and you are like to challenge each other a bit um, in a positive way. Uh, you like to challenge each other in a positive way and it makes also that that boredom maybe that you feel or that that you reject people because you can't be bothered about other people maybe you have been trying new people uh, trying to meet new people but this person is going to change things for you especially in the end of the week they are going to share something with you they might know them from the past you might know them for a very long time while well, you don't know that uh, maybe through friends, through family, um, there is some kind of mutual connection here or a connection here that is, um, it has a lot of opportunities. It's not only that you know each other, but it's, I think there's also more other people involved. It's not only you and them, but there are other, other parties involved that maybe know this person from your group of friends or your family and uh, this makes that... Um, yeah, this makes this makes it almost like it's family uh, in a way. Family. I don't see your family cards. I only see your starts from the beginning. So it might be for some of you. For some of you, it might be almost you don't know them very well, or you think you don't know, and then later on, it seems that you already know them for a while, or you uh, or your friends know them for a while, or um, and so this is almost becoming like. It's someone, it's not 
I think I have to, for some reason, I have the feeling you don't have to introduce them to your family or your friends or something like that. For some of you, not for everyone, uh, but you don't have to introduce them. Um, yeah, they know them or something. Um, so, but it could also be an ex, for example, that is uh, that you make a new start with. But I think uh, this is something someone new because I see so many cards that indicate new things. Uh, that it, this is someone maybe you didn't give gave a chance yet. That could also be the four of cups. That you that you rejected them in the first place, or that you didn't want this with this person. Maybe in the past um, you have been very rational about this. Like okay, this just doesn't work. This person is saying or doing this, so it doesn't work. And this other person is just seeing you because of this as friends. Um, yeah. So, and how people in your environment will see this. Yeah, they know that they are single or you are single. They know, um, they have been maybe already knowing this from other people around them. Or they uh, try to get to know you better. Or they try to, it makes people a little bit stressed out maybe. Maybe because it's, it's this person knows already people in your environment. Or people know them already it makes you a little bit nervous um, <laughs> yeah they're, they're, I don't know I get the nervousness nervousness for some reason for Aries uh, this time but it's it's a very it's like a very it's not nervous like negative but it's like excitement like oh what's going to happen next so that's really like excitement uh, for Aries so but I get a very happy vibe of these cards and it's a very happy reading that I get for you Heartbreak, whatever it was, it's going to heal because of this new uh, love uh, experience with this person that is coming in. That will overrule everything, I would say. This will overrule everything. You don't even look back, uh, probably. Uh, you look back at maybe who this person is uh, and how they are in your network or something. How they are related or how they are. There's there's more there's there's much more stories here going out of these. Um, this is really a fight that you really have to tell each other a lot. There's a lot to tell to each other. You will be talking for hours probably with this person, hours and hours, and then it's night and then it's day, and you know you have just a lot to share with each other. So that's what I feel for Aries. Very very positive tarot reading. So I really wish you the best week ever. And uh, don't forget to also watch my Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus side from other Zodiac signs videos. Uh, the videos with other um, Zodiac signs for this week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and see.